Hey Texas, we are back and with us is CEO of Stella Jets, Tia Minzoni. Hello Tia, welcome to The Connect Show Texas. We are super excited and honored to have you with us today. Thank you, I'm so excited to be here. Tell us more about your luxury company, Stella Jets, and what you offer. Absolutely. So Stella Jets is a woman-owned private aviation company. We actually access 7,000 uh, private aircraft worldwide. So we're able to book just about any trip, anywhere, anytime um, for people who want to fly in the most opulent um, and efficient way of travel. Wow, that is incredible. And there is such a small percentage of women in aviation. Can you share a little bit about your journey with us? Absolutely. Um, so in aviation, less than 10% of pilots are female. Um, less than 8% of CEOs in aviation are women. And in Fortune, 5 company, Fortune 500 companies as a whole, less than 6% of CEOs are women. Um, so coming from male-dominated industries my entire life and having a dream to open um, a private jet company, I was super excited to get into this industry and kind of open the doors for other women and encourage other women to get involved as well. That's amazing. Okay. So if my husband and I decided to take a trip on a private jet and we booked with Stella Jets, how does it work? Can you walk us through the process? For sure. It's a super easy process. And that's part of what we um, want to always offer our clients is just the most efficient uh, booking process that there is. So you can do one of two things. You could call us and speak to one of our private aviation specialists, or you can go on our website, which is StellaJets.com and fill out a form. It's super simple information, just like if you were going to book a, a flight on um, Expedia or one of those sites. So it's very easy questions to answer. And then we have aviation specialists that are assigned directly to you and your trip. So they know everything about which jets are the best ones to travel. Um, they ask you questions like, are you carrying golf clubs or um, is a pet traveling with you to make sure they get you the right aircraft. Um, and they take care of everything for you. We can even take care of ground transportation. If you have an anniversary, we can put flower arrangements and champagne on board. There's just nothing that we, we don't handle in-house for you to make it super easy. So fancy. I love it. And you have such a beautiful selection of jets. So how does a person um, or a group decide which to choose? I know you mentioned, um, you know, going on to your website and you have the, the form, the simple form to fill out. But what are some differences of private versus coach? Um, can you give us the vision, like paint the picture for us? Yeah, for sure. That's a great question. There are um, several different types of aircraft out there and huge differences between a light jet, um, a mid-sized jet or a commercial airliner. So a lot of times we have clients who fly private often and they know exactly what they want. But if that's not the case, our private aviation specialist knows everything about every jet there is for you. So it makes it a lot easier. You don't have to go in and kind of scroll through and figure out what's the best one, how many miles it can travel, how many people it can see. We do all that work for you. Um, and sometimes we have people who just want to get from A to B uh, for, you know, as, as inexpensive as possible. And then we have other people who want that luxury. They say, hey, I want a couch. I want room for my kids to run up and down the aisle during the flight. Um, and our specialists help find that exact fit just for you. Wow. It sounds like you have it all. Um, so earlier in the show, we were discussing women celebrating and empowering one another. And you've had such an incredible experience thus far leading up to owning Stella Jet, not to mention conquering cancer. And now you're in the business, so dreams never have to end. What tips do you have for our female entrepreneurs out there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it's important that you surround yourself with other women um, who have some of the same intentions that you do. Uh, you know, as far as, as cancer, I realized that there were so many things that I wanted to do and I had been putting off for so long. And I just wasn't going to put that off any longer. Um, and so having a group of women around you that empower you and you empower them, finding women who are good at things you're not good at, but 
someone that you can offer your expertise back to and just really making a solid uh, circle and helping each other, you know, emotionally, professionally and financially. Um, you just be amazed at how far you can go when you when you go together with with goodwill and good intentions. Cause I think a lot of times we are who holds us back. Right. Um, and so I think a couple of things are, you know, I believe that, uh, you know, God gives you a dream to show you what your capabilities are. And once you have that dream in your mind, once you write a dream down, it becomes a goal. And once you break a goal down, it becomes a reality. So I think those are always the first steps. You have to believe in yourself, write it down to make it a goal, break it down to turn it into a reality. And then on a separate piece of paper, write down all of your excuses, valid or not, all of your reasons for not going after your dreams right now, write them on a piece of paper and then set it on fire and do it anyway. You're amazing. You, you're, you're so amazing. I'm mean, here just owning a private jet company seems just like something out of reach. And here you are, this amazing, excuse my language, boss babe, owning a private jet company. I'm so, this is just so amazing and I'm so excited for you. So um, my next question is, what would you say to someone um, who their goal is to ride in a private jet, but they think it's too extravagant or too expensive to explore? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we do have people that call and say, well, I thought this would be the same as flying first class. And and what I would say to that is, you know, you're, you're chartering the entire aircraft. So if you can imagine um, buying every seat on a commercial airliner, um, how much that would cost, it's slightly cheaper than that. Um, but if you're wanting to break into it, and, um, you know, and it's on your bucket list or whatever that is, or start flying private, there's different ways that you can get into it that are a little bit more cost effective. Um, one way is to get into semi private. So that's where you can have a semi private experience and you get to book by the seat. Um, we actually partner with some semi private operators, there's limited destinations, but you can book by the seat on those, which is a little bit more cost effective. And you can also go on our website and sign up for what we call empty leg alerts. Those are um, uh, flights that are already pre-scheduled and you get the entire aircraft, but you get it for a fraction of the cost because it's an empty leg scheduled flight already. So those are some of the ways I would say you can kind of get in and get a taste for uh, flying private for a fraction of the cost. And then of course, keep going after your dreams until you can fly as often as you want to any way you'd like. Now that sounds like a great investment to me, right, Amanda? Yeah, I want to go already. <laughs> Let's go. <Andy. laughs> so how can we find you and all of your inspiration and your great vibes uh, you brought with you today? Um, tell us what your social media handle is and how can we book with Stella Jeff? Yes. We are across all social media as Stella Jets, and our website is StellaJets.com. Tia, thank you so much for being with us here today. It was so much fun, and I think Amanda and I are ready to book our private jet now. So Texas, we hope you are enjoying your Saturday so far. We will take a quick break and be right back.
Thank you.